Hey everyone, it's Michael Bernier of Think Outside, and welcome to this special coronavirus episode of, you, you can't hear me, can you? But, uh, fuck it, this is not gonna work. Fuck. Cut, cut, cut. Hey, it's Michael Bernier of Think Outside, and I love this plant. Hey everyone, it's Michael Bernier of Think Outside, and welcome to this special coronavirus episode of I fucking love this plant. And today, as you can see, we are not outside like we usually are. We are in my studio here uh, because, as we all know, we cannot go outside. We need to be inside. So I thought it'd be a great time to talk about indoor plants. And specifically, what we're going to talk about today are indoor plants that purify the air in your home. So come along and let's take a look. Let's talk about house plants a little bit. So when they the air purifying aspect of it, uh, NASA did some tests up in the space station, where to, which were the plants that were the very best for purifying the air. And they were found to remove air pollutants, including carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide, ammonia, formaldehyde, chloroform, benzene, xylene, and several others that I can't pronounce. People ask me all the time, why are my houseplants dying? The number one thing that kills houseplants is overwatering. So they really don't need that much water. Moist soil at, the, at best, but actually a lot of plants actually like if you let it dry out a bit. So I recommend once every couple of weeks, unless it's really hot and dry, is more than enough to take care of your house plants. For our first plant here, we have the peace lily. And this is a, such a beautiful plant. Take a look at this thing. It uh, requires low to moderate light and not too moist a soil, let the soil dry out between uh, waterings. But what's great about this is this will bloom year round. So it makes a great house plant, great for purifying the air. Okay, so we have here the golden pothos, otherwise known as uh, devil's ivy. I don't know where I got that name, that's pretty sinister, but it's a beautiful plant with these variegated leaves. And it's in this hanger uh, pot because the stems can grow out very, 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 very long. That actually had 10 to, 10 to 15 foot long ones. It was crazy. They'll just keep growing and growing and growing. Likes bright, indirect sunlight and moderately moist soil. So great for purifying the air. This is the pothos or devil's ivy. For our next plant here, we have the uh, weeping fig or ficus tree. You've seen this before, it's pretty common. Grown outside, this sucker can get to over 100 feet tall, but indoors, it makes a great uh, air toxin remover. It gets by with a uh, low light, moist soil. It's very beautiful. Can be a little sensitive with if you change its watering, its lighting, or even if you change the position in the house, but uh, it, it, overall, it's a pretty hardy plant. That does it for episode number one. Look out for episode number two of I love this indoor air purifying plant and remember everyone think outside stay inside and make your world a more beautiful place